are Jungle's Cougar. Her kit is quite easily countered by Shaco, since she depends on jumping on targets after hitting a spear, and Shaco can just make that target disappear or duplicate it. Pantheon, if he's smart enough to play around his passive, is another pretty good counter. And also Fizz, with his E mechanic to dodge spears and engages, as well as his W to reduce Nita's healing. Diana for her extreme mobility and burst damage, Xin Zhao for his gap close and ultimate, and Jarvan for exactly those same reasons as well, make other great counters too. Nidalee's passive makes her gain movement speed when she leaves brushes, and it also marks targets as hunted whenever she hits them with a spear or a trap, gaining that same movement speed towards them. This is another champion with 6 abilities instead of 4, and an ultimate which allows her to change between a melee and a ranged form. Her Q in human form allows her to hurl a javelin that deals more damage the further it travels. In cougar form, it grants her next auto extra range and makes it deal magic damage. Her W in human form makes her lay a trap on the floor that marks enemies, whereas in cougar, it'll allow her to jump short distance in the direction of the cursor, or also towards the target and gain extra range if the targets are hunted. Finally, her E in human form heals her and her allies, and in cougar form, it swipes and claws at nearby enemies. It's rare to see a good Nita, especially since her kit is so outdated lately and requires a lot of skill to be effective, especially when it comes to hitting long range javelins. They travel really slowly, so make Make your priority to dodge these, or you'll be pounced and deleted in no time. If you find her in the jungle, which you most likely will, she's a cougar, duh. Then she'll take the smite flash combo, which you should be looking into taking as well. Like all champions with a transformation ultimate, she has a very good early game and gets especially powerful when she hits level 3 when compared to other champions at this point, simply because she gains access to all her kit already. She's especially strong in the early game and gets weaker and weaker as the game progresses. Just don't allow her to snowball and GG well played. Be careful when she finishes a jungle item with the runic echoes and enchantments. It makes her kit and burst potential rise a lot. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, avoid getting hit by the javelin at all costs. She'll change into the cougar form right before engaging and jumping on top of you so that's a really good tell and be patient because of her late game uselessness. Ultimately, have fun doing it.